This conference will now be recorded. Um, we are opening the uh, Tilton Budget Committee meeting of Wednesday, February 3rd, 2021 at 7 o'clock. This is a virtual meeting and due to space limitations, the meetings during the meeting as a result of COVID-19 restrictions, the public is encouraged to participate remotely with GoToMeeting using your smartphone, tablet, or computer at https colon forward slash forward slash www dot go to meet dot me forward slash town of dash tilton forward slash budget you can also dial in using your telephone toll free at one eight seven seven three oh nine two zero seven three code six eight nine dash four seven zero dash eight two nine if you have any difficulties, please email web at Tilton, New Hampshire, uh, TiltonNH.org, which will be monitored during the meeting. Uh, on the agenda, I see we have review and approve minutes of January 20th, 2021, and uh, also review approve Lockmere Water. MS 737 and review slash discussion of budget line items. Final vote. Okay. Um, let's see. Where do you want to let's start? Do the minutes first. Oh. Uh, I move we approve the January 20th. 2021 minutes with a few corrections and we can e either you want those corrections now before we second it or i'll second without i'll second okay well some of the corrections i have was on page six um i I think you might have had an autofill on, Janice, because did you abstain, Kathy, from most of those votes? I only remember you abstaining like one or two. I didn't abstain from a lot of votes. Well, on the... Uh... And I don't have a copy of the minutes. I haven't seen the minutes, so... Okay, so the... Uh... John made a motion to vote one dollar for the Green Committee committee. And that let me just find uh, where you are. Let me just hold on one. Oh, I see. Yes, okay. That had you abstaining on that one, but the motion note carried five zero. So it's Seems like I did that a few times. I can see it now. Yeah, I think they all just you might have just auto filled all those abstentions except for the ones that said 4 over to 1. I very seldom abstain. Right. I very, right. very seldom use that. So I got a feeling I didn't abstain from anything. You abstained from one, which was the... Uh, you had not yet reviewed the information I said. Right. Yeah, you hadn't reviewed it, so you abstained from that one. That okay. was uh, the Lockmere Village budget. Yep. Okay. I do yeah, remember yeah. that. Yep. Yeah. And you're right, Bill. I probably just went and copied it. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I would say we should uh, just make, since there are 5 0 votes, make sure that Kathy was on a yes vote. That's the only thing I have for corrections. Anybody else get a chance to look at them? Yeah. I'm just looking. Yeah, I guess you probably did um, want to adjourn with everybody else. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's right. I forgot I was on that last one, too.
Let me know when people are finished reviewing, but all set. All set. Christine, are you all set or? Yes, I am. Thank you. Okay, uh, we'll do a roll call vote. Um, all those in favor of accepting the uh, January 20th meeting uh, with corrections, I'll vote aye. Organo, yes. Scanlon, yes. Dawson, yes. Dembitsky, yes. Any opposed? The ayes have it. Okay, the second um, agenda item was a MS 737. Yeah. Um, but I haven't seen that. Okay. And what is the status on the 737 for lock math? So uh, we haven't had a chance to put it up for uh, signature yet. So uh, for electronic signature. Um, but I would say um, uh, as long as that's done uh, prior to the, um, the town 737 should be okay. So it's on the list. Okay, so that's just, we'll just be signing that electronically. Unless you, unless um, make other arrangements uh, to sign it. If uh, I mean, in the past we've, you know, uh, I mean, there are ways we could make it available, I suppose, um, you know, in town hall. It's, it would really be up to Janice uh, to manage that process. I'm fine with that if that, if the, if um, the rest of the team can stop by. Okay, we we could have options, right? You could do that either way. Um, well, we need to have a, a a completed MS. They'll need a completed MS 737 uh, with one set or the other. So um, I would say okay. it's best for the for the committee to pick one method. Okay. Well, it seems like it more logical since we're kind of spread out to do the electronic signature, since I don't think everybody can make it. I agree with that one. Okay, so let's let's do that. Um, I guess the next item was any, a final review of the budget. I don't think anything's changed from our last review in the last meeting. Does anyone have any questions? John? Well, I guess, you know, there's um, the final municipal budget. Um, there's some changes, I believe. Uh, if Tim is prepared, maybe he could address those if you wish. In the selectman's budget, you mean? Yes. Uh, well, uh, um, <laughs> you may have to uh, prompt me, John. Uh, oh. We we had not uh, since the, the the last vote no uh, additions or reductions had been made to the budget. Okay. Uh, the, so I guess um, we're all set. <laughs> yeah. The the only thing uh, that changed I was concerned about the um, the interest uh, for the the construction bond that was um, um, you know moving into 2021 and whether we needed to budget any uh, additional interest for that. And uh, in, in speaking with our auditor, uh, it qualifies under an encumbrance because of the way it was uh, committed in 2020 through the Warren article uh, to raise and appropriate money for the payment of interest for that uh, construction loan, even though it was added to the operating budget. So, um, so in checking with the auditor, um, that was considered a qualified encumbrance and we'll have enough money to carry over into 2021 to pay the additional interest because originally the, the construction was to be complete in 2020 and uh so because the the whole project 
uh, was delayed some uh, and it's moving into February. Our last payment for the construction portion will be in February that um, uh, that we can encumber that interest. So, so in any case, that was my one concern from before and uh, that's been dealt with. So uh, we should be okay. Mm -hmm. The, the only other thing I would say is that uh, obviously uh, I think most people are aware there's been some changes at the police department and um, and the the you know there's an opportunity maybe at town meeting once things settle down uh, if there are changes that the selectmen identify at that point they could they could make uh, an adjustment to the budget if they felt it was uh, necessary um, so uh, that's the only thing I would mention. And then uh, lastly, in the Warren article uh, that deals with the budget, uh, the, uh, the number that was sent out in the, the warrant earlier, unfortunately didn't contain the sewer budget. So, uh, so I've updated the article that contained um, the article five, which contained the budget committee's recommended sum. The budget committee had voted on both the operating budget as well as the sewer budget. So um, uh, that was just an oversight from the other night on my part. Uh, but I, I have that in front of me if you want to see it on the screen. Um, and we, of course, we can send out a, a revised copy for the budget committee. That's really all I have. Okay, yeah, it'd be great to get that revised copy. Uh, is anybody? Right Pardon me. I'll send it out right now, and I can also put it up on the screen if you like. Uh, when you, if, if when you're discussing. It. Okay. Uh, why don't you just send it out, and uh, will people want to look at that now for discussion purposes, or? It's really, say, it's just a pass through, right? So, I mean, it's. Yeah, the, the only thing that changed was just the total amount. The total amount has to include the operating budget and the sewer commission um, because it, it shows up in both the expenditure side as well as the revenue side. It doesn't affect the tax rate any, um, but it's required to be there. And it's on the MS 737 that the state requires. That's a nice comment. <laughs> well, if none of the board has any um, questions, I could open it to any of the public people that have uh, any questions on what we've just been discussing. I know there's at least one out there. No questions. <laughs> okay. Uh, so let's see. Other business would be uh, the warrant articles. Is that something we deal with? Should deal with now? Has ever, everyone seen that? The draft of the, of the town warrant. And, and we can do recommend or not recommend them. Sure. That's that's basically all we do, right? Yeah. Uh, do you want to do that now or do we do that at the public hearing? Um, we can do it now and we could change um, based on uh, the input of the public hearing. Okay, has everyone had a chance to look at the warrant? Yes. Ted, Christine? I said yes, can you hear me? Yes, thanks. Briefly skimming it right now, I apologize. Had a busy day at work. That's okay. Uh, We could pop them up on the screen and uh, go through them. 
Sure. Uh, yeah, start, I, I just read through it. <laughs> I mean, it starts with what Article Three is the first one we would uh, recommend or not recommend. To see if the town would vote to raise and appropriate the sum of three million two hundred thousand dollars to participate in the state of New Hampshire Department of Transportation Municipality Managed State Highway Aid Program to reconstruct the following state road in the town of Tilton, Califf Hill Road, and to authorize the issuance of not more than three million two hundred thousand dollars of bonds or notes in accordance with the Municipal Finance Act, RSA thirty three and authorize the Board of Selectmen to issue and negotiate such bonds or notes and to determine the, the rate of interest thereon and to authorize the Board of Selectmen to apply for, accept, and expend any state or other aid that may become available for said project, provided, however, that the Board of Selectmen shall not be authorized to issue any bonds or notes unless and until the town has received a binding commitment for state aid for said project in an amount at least equal to two thirds of the total cost of the project. This appropriation, appropriation is not included in the operating budget. Uh, the article is recommended by the selectmen. I thought we already did Caleb Hill Road. Um, well, I guess. Uh it's kind of a very long, ongoing subject. Um, Keelif Hill Road, although every year or two years they go through and they uh, just kind of shave it down, put a skim coat on it, make it look nice. Uh, the problem is, is that the base is in uh, really bad shape and rocks just keep poking up through it to a point where, uh, uh, you know, some cars are, it's, it's it's not uh, any of you have driven on it in the spring the frost frost heaves or after that uh, realizes so um, it was on the 10-year plan um, a couple times and uh, about I think it was uh, three years ago we were scheduled to get it done we put some money had the warrant article for it and then uh, all of a sudden we got bumped we're not on the plan at all oh, okay. Yeah, so that went back and forth. So what happened is the warrant article, which is very similar to this, um, was approved at town meeting, and I, I believe it was three years ago, but that's expired. So we need to reapprove it. Um, we've gotten some help from um, Senator Guida, who uh, really pushed strong for it, um, along with uh, you know our uh, Councilor Joe Kenny and um, our reps and uh, where it looks like it might happen. I, I'm not going to hold my breath yet, but it, it's looking really, really good this time. And it's gone to committee and uh, gotten pushed. That won't, um, it's got to get done. Uh, if anybody else has any more information or uh, on that, they can step right in, make any corrections if I, misstated anything just letting everybody know i live on cliff road so i know exactly what john's talking about and it's always been a band-aid and we were on the list with the state and then they dumped us and then we had this big meeting with um you know uh, you know the city council and everybody else and um, i know one of the school buses lost their hydraulic line right on there from going through the bump um and they had, you know, a busload of children. So it, it's it's into it's interesting there. <laughs> so that's so, that's that's about a million dollars for us, right? That that would, yeah, um, that's max because we say that at least three fifths. I mean, uh, two thirds. Two thirds. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're pushing, we, at one time we worked on, we got up to an 80, 20. So we're, we're working on that, um, to get even more. We've got some, uh, people rallying for us at the state house level. So. Well, I'll move that. We, uh, uh, recommend that, 
um, bring it up for discussion or vote. Is there a second? Well, uh, Christine. <laughs> any other dis any other discussion on that? Okay, let's take a roll call vote, which is to recommend um, Article Three um, Town Meeting. Um, uh, Lawrence votes aye. Scanlon, I. Dawson is no. I think the state should keep their road and spend their own money fixing it. They plow that road, right? Aye. Okay, so looks like we have uh, four I didn't to get one. That. What's that? Ted, I didn't hear Ted's vote. I said I. Oh, thank you, Ted. All right, we. I think uh, Catherine and I both spoke over each other. Okay, you're right. Okay, so that's we're recommending that for the time being. So let's move on to Article Four, which is to see if the town will vote to approve the cost items included in the collective bargaining agreement reached between the Tilton Selectmen and the Tilton Police Union, any PBA Local 29, which calls for the following increases in salaries and benefits at the current staffing level. So for fiscal year 21 to 22, estimated increase is $33,463. Fiscal year 2022 to 2023, estimated increase is $29,164. And for fiscal year 2023 to 2024, the estimated increase is 29,164. And further to raise an appropriate $15,466 for the current fiscal year. Such sum representing additional costs attributable to the increase in salaries and benefits required by the new agreement over those that would be paid at current staffing levels. This article is recommended by the selectmen. Um, will this be impacted by the uh, the change that's happening with the uh, police at this time? Uh, John? Yeah, um, I'm just going to say a brief thing and then I'd like to uh, ask that um, Pat um, chime in, give a, a little bit more. Just um, the police have not um, had a contract for the last year um, that did not get um, uh, agreed on. We were negotiating in that and the time ran out. And so they've been operating without a contract at the current levels. They haven't gotten any changes or raises in the past year. So, um, and I'd like to thank Pat and uh, Peter and our attorney and Tim and Jeannie who have worked very hard with the police department and came up with um, something that uh, we found that was agreeable to both parties just in the nick of time. Um, but with that, I'd like to yield to uh, Pat so she can uh, go over some of explaining a little bit more of it. So, okay, Pat. Uh, John kind of John kind of said it, it. They were without a contract last year. They walked away from the table uh, in 2020, 21 to 22. It represents a 70 cent raise uh, increase. That's what you see in the uh, uh, in the money portion, along with the dispatch supervisor, just the supervisor. Um, we added a dispatch. Uh, communication specialist is what their their technical name is, and they get a dollar increase just for the supervi supervision portion. And that thirty three thousand four hundred and sixty three dollars represents the in total amount of the cost items, based on seventy cents plus that dollar increase. 
and 2022 to 2023, the $29,164 in 23 to 24, the $29,164 represents a 66 cents uh, an hour raise. The dollar increases only that one in the first year. It doesn't, it doesn't pass over to the second or third year. It's just that one dollar. So you're looking at six, uh, 70 cents the first year, 66 the second year, and 66 the third year. What kind of percentage is that? Um, hold on. To their pay. Well, one of the things, if while Pat's looking that up, um, as you can see in the numbers that she ran, we gave a dollar figure amount to the person, to the uh, different employees, as opposed to a percentage. Um, typically with the percentage, you know, somebody who's making a lot of money, it's a big amount and the little guys just keep falling behind. So we went with a, the a dollar amount there. And if you like, I've got it here. <clears throat> Tim, you got it? You could put it up. Well, uh, I was just gonna, I was just gonna read it, um, if you don't mind. The uh, it ranges from on uh, the low end of the officers, uh, 3.9% in the first year, up to the, uh, the sergeant, 2.16%. And over the course of the three years, uh, those from the very lowest officer would be 9.51% increase over the, <clears throat> pardon me, over the three years. And uh, at the sergeant level, uh, it would be 6.22% over the three years. The dispatchers run from um, uh, outside of the uh, the communication supervisor, it's 3.59% increase in the first year. And over the course of the three years, it's a 10.36% increase. For the communication supervisor first year, uh, there's a dollar increase uh, for that supervisory uh, responsibility, which makes that an 8.1% increase in the first year. 14.38% over the course of the three years. And when you were uh, negotiating this, um, how do you feel that worked out? I mean, I'm just curious. It, uh, let me Go ahead, Pat. Sure, Pat. The whole process was very difficult this year to, to come in because they obviously started very high in their negotiations for, for wages, particularly wages. Um, the three things that were really sticklers was language in uh, paid time off uh, and um, wages. And also we are petitioning to modify the sergeants not being in the union. and. Uh, so those were the three sticklers and they came in considerably higher we ended up going to mediation and this is uh the process we ended up with the two lawyers talked together and we came this is what we ended up with um as a as a media medium point okay so both sides gave in a little bit uh, as usual, say, as usual. Say, yep i would say yes I think um, there were many, many meetings that um, the negotiators, Pat and Peter, and that they met, and uh, the it was many meetings and many offers back and forth and counter offers and um, negotiating stuff. It was uh, it, it wasn't a real cut and dry. You go in there, you do this, and you know I raise you or you know call you. It was, sure. uh, it was back and forth for months. And actually, you know, it's gone on for almost two years. So. Right. And they declared an impasse this past fall, and then we entered into mediation. And uh, we actually settled it Monday night. So this is how close it, it came to not settling. Monday was the deadline for settling at midnight. And uh, if this doesn't go through at town meeting, then they're without a contract uh, another year until we can 
they fall back on the, the last contract that was uh, negotiated and they, they don't get raises. Okay. Uh, would anyone like to make a motion? Um, I question? would make a motion, but I, I think it would be better if it comes from the budget committee. Oh, Christine has a question. Go ahead, Christine. What was the reasoning? What was the reasoning for the dispatch supervisor getting a dollar rather than the seventy cents? The uh, so, so in um, in the contract we have uh, corporal. Well, the corporals are now called sergeants, and when they get a when they become a sergeant, they get an increase because they're in a supervisory position. We now established uh, after we didn't have it in the last contract dispatch. We had communication specialists, but we didn't have uh, we weren't open as many hours as we are, and we didn't have a supervisor. We have now have a communi communication supervisor a training supervisor and normally when we do usually have a supervisor they get a, a step above what the other people get because they're actually training the people and keeping them up to the standards uh, and policies and all of that um, so they felt that they should be on the same level as what the others so the detectives get a little bit of a raise going into being assigned to detectives the sergeants get a, a increase when they go into being a sergeant and the dispatch supervisor as well and uh it's above, above and beyond you have to it, it's obviously not a promotion but it's it's, it's a step increase into that department for her or him yeah and that comes with additional duties too right M many additional duties because now they have to train they have to make sure that they're all their training is up to date they have to make sure all their paperwork and annual reports are in um and there's a lot that goes on with it with it does that answer your question christine Yes, thank you, Pat. Okay. And John. Yeah. Oh, thank Pat. She did all the work. Well, I think the team did. Yeah. Thank, <laughs> thank you, though, John. We give you. We gave him support. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll just I'll I'll make a motion to accept just to bring it up. Is there a second? I'll second. Second. Any more discussion on uh, recommending the raises? Hearing none, um, I'll vote aye. Bill Lawrence. Dawson, yes. Scanlon, yes. Gargano, yes. Did you vote Christine? Yes, yeah, she did. She okay, said yes. I don't. I didn't hear. Her. Yeah. I didn't hear either. Yes. Thank you, Christine. Okay, great. It's like five zero. Okay, next uh, article would be uh, Article Six. Um, no. Oh, okay. You're gonna skip five. Well, that doesn't look like we need a recommendation since. So well, I have not a special warrant article. Right, right. Okay, Article 6, uh, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $275,000 for the purpose of paying down debt service for the construction of the new police station authorized in the 2020 warrant, Article 3. 
with said funds to come from the state of the sale of the former, excuse me, the sale of the former police department building. This article is recommended by the selectmen. I'll make a motion to recommend. The sale of the what was that, Christine? Sorry. So the sale, I saw the sign that says under agreement, the sale of that police department, is that um, the full 275 or is it above that with paying a mortgage off and then put the balance towards the new police station? Uh, I can answer that, Bill, if you like. Um, yes, Tim, please. I made a motion. We should, should second it so then we can have discussion. Okay, sure. I'll second that. There you go. Okay, Tim, go ahead. So the uh, uh, so there is no uh, debt uh, payment that we have to make against that building. Uh, it um, uh, we're just anticipating uh, and taking this net amount. We don't have a HUD statement yet, um, but this sh should be an adequate amount that we can apply towards the uh, the new police station bond and reduce that that uh, initial amount. I have a question. Nice. Sure. So is this to reduce the financing or is this to reduce any overage costs of construction? Bill, may I? Go, oh, yes, Tim. Uh, no, it's it's uh, to reduce the principal balance uh, that we that our loan will be. So, okay, so. Um, the the uh, the way we've structured the the long term bond uh, through our our bank is um, uh, structured in a way that the payments uh, start, uh, start low, low into year three, and then also. Um, that there are no prepayment penalties. So uh, even if for some reason this closing was delayed a month, at any point in time, we can take the proceeds of the sale of the old building and apply it, or for that matter, any other monies uh, that, uh, you know, that would be eligible to pay it down. Uh, so, um, so in any event, uh, no, in fact, uh, we have not exceeded uh, the construction estimates uh, for the building and what was raised and appropriated at town meeting last year. Very nice. Thank you. And we couldn't probably get a bidding war on this property, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, we'll call the vote. Uh, Lawrence, in favor of recommending this? Dawson, yes. Scanlon, yes. Gargano, yes. Dembitsky, yes. Great, thank you. Okay, on to Article 7. To see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate $3,000 to be added to the Tilton Senior Center Expendable Trust Fund previously established. This appropriation is not included in the operating budget. This article is recommended. So uh, can somebody just give a little uh, synopsis of what this is? Sure. Uh, I think Pat is going to be returning to her computer shortly. She would be the best one for this. Let's see. Hey, Pat. The um, article oh. seven. $3,000. I think Catherine is really adept at, at answering this one. Oh, cool. I am? <laughs> is this the uh, trust fund for the uh, van that was established last year? For the maintenance of the van? Yes, it was. Yeah. <laughs> if you remember last year we purchased the van uh-huh um to, so we can transport seniors to very important appointments and shopping whatever they need and this was the fund that was established for the maintenance 
needs of the van and gasoline and that kind of thing. Did we use the van this year? Oh yes. Yeah, a lot. Oh, oh yeah, okay. a lot. Yeah, one of one of the issues we have with uh, we could use it a lot, lot more. We just don't have a lot of drivers. We could use it every single day of the week if if uh, we had drivers. The calls we're getting are are enormous. We have to turn people away. Do you need a special uh, certification to be a driver? Uh, you need a medical card, not a CDL, just a medical card. And okay. uh, so you need to have, um, you need to go to an occupational doctor and they give you a, a small physical eye check, blood pressure check, and you get a medical card. It's good for two years. And then we give you a small training, a couple hour training. Um, and then... Uh, you're, if you're if you're around you know, you have a couple hours free on a on a Friday afternoon and we have an appointment that comes up on a Friday afternoon, then we ask you we call you and say hey listen uh, Joe needs to go to this appointment on Friday afternoon are you able to drive and yeah sure okay if you're not you're not when we call him back and say yes we can take that drive ride and that's how we work it right now but last uh, last month we took uh, um, close to 40 just last month. So um, we we have turned away almost 20. So we, because we don't have, we only have one driver right now that's able to do that. Um, I'm capable of doing that, but I was working, so we don't have a driver. But in, in addition to what Catherine was saying, this is also used as it, for the senior center, the maintenance and requirements for the building and things like that. So it's not just the van. So it was okay. set up as an expendable trust so that you just, if something happened, you have it and it's there. So the building and which we own. Question? Yep. Go ahead, Christine. What is the current balance in there now? Uh, gonna have to ask Tim that. I think it's last year we put in three thousand. I I can't. Yeah, you, have to, you have to give me a second. Let me pull up uh, those. Uh, was it originally six thousand? I honestly uh, no, I five last year. I honestly can't remember, Billy. One second. I know we just bought a battery for the bus. I know they've done a lot of um, repairs in uh, upkeep on the senior center, making it a, um, just a, a much better building. It's in a lot better shape than when it was first turned over to them. Um, I know they've had some plans for some other things that are desperately needed to uh, care for the building just um, to keep one of our town assets from uh, deteriorating and uh, actually making it better. Um, one of the things I've been pushing for is getting some insulation in the ceiling above the main room where there is none. Um, and uh, I, I know I volunteered to help put that in. And I can tell you, when you do work for the senior center, they pay very, very well. You get an abundance you get an abundance of big smiles, virtual hugs, and I'll tell you, the best blueberry muffins you've ever had. <laughs> so uh, to answer Christine's question, there's uh, uh, twelve thirty-one. There's five thousand two dollars and ninety-four cents. Last year there was a five thousand dollar deposit, and uh, depending upon when that was funded. Uh, the balance was interest, so not much interest at that point. Thank you. So that's different than the senior center maintenance. Correct. Because this includes the van in, in the building and so on and so forth. The maintenance, the other one, the maintenance is... Uh, 
It's a building, right? Okay, do we have a motion on this yet? I'll make a motion to recommend Article 7. I'll second. Any other discussion? We'll bring it to vote. Uh, Lawrence votes yes. Dawson, yes. Ambitsky, yes. Scanlon, yes. Gargano, yes. All right. On to Article 8. To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $35,000 to be added to the Highway Equipment Capital Reserve Fund previously established. The, this appropriation is not included in the operating budget. The article is recommended by the selectmen. This is uh, fairly yearly, isn't it? John? Yeah, this is a, a yearly thing. Um, as you know, uh, equipment can be very expensive and uh, it's easier to um, put money in on a yearly basis and send kind of hitting everybody hard. Um, Kevin, our DPW director, um, he also maintains the equipment and uh, he's been doing a really good job with that and uh, has made um, plans for how many years out things will last and because he has hands on, literally hands on knowledge. Um, so yeah, so it covers all that stuff so we won't get hit hard. Any other discussion on this? I have a question. Go ahead, Christine. What is the current balance and what did we use last year? Uh, we didn't, uh, I can answer both those questions if I may, Bill. The current sure. balance is $81,019.74. There was no money deducted from the fund uh, 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 I'd have to go back and check. There may have been something small, but I don't believe so in 2020. Uh, the plan is in 2021, once uh, if the 35,000 is approved and uh, put into the fund is to acquire a, um, uh, a heavy duty um, sidewalk machine. So that, that was the, um, the existing plan that uh, the director will uh, of course, we'll bring to the selectmen, you know, for approval. But uh, that's what he was looking at, um, you know, for the purposes of building this up. And and uh, there should be sufficient monies in 2021 for that. Purpose. Well, it seems like we go through one of those sorry, every year. Ben, what was the balance <laughs> again? I didn't hear it. Eighty-one thousand nineteen dollars and seventy-four cents as of twelve thirty-one. I believe the highway uh, gentleman said that the one they purchased was really not a very good sidewalk cleaner, and that's why he had to get had to get a a, a different one, right? If, if Bill, I, I could probably answer that. So we had a machine um, that we had for many, many years, um, and we had one for parts because they were kind of difficult to get. And that one failed. Um, the turbo, I think, went in it, and then there were some other engine problems. And um, we had a um, public works director, um, oh, prior to Kevin, he purchased this. Um, it it's just doesn't quite do like the old ones do. You can get it done, but it's really, really slow, and uh, it, it just can't handle it all. But it does have other attachments that they use for sweeping the sidewalks, for um, sweeping the parking lots. It's got... Um, I think it's got a bucket attachment onto it. So it was more of a universal machine that thought would be good for that, but it's just not doing the sidewalk um, in a timely basis and as well. So um, that's why we're going to go and get a um, something that's more rugged and 
uh, can do it quicker and really cut through the snow and ice. Wouldn't a Jeep be better? <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> I think they you know, used to do that, the sidewalks with a Jeep years ago. <laughs> yeah, the, you know, the, the problem is, is that when, like, if you're on a state road, they come through and they plow the sidewalk, and that's all the real heavy stuff with the sand and the salt in it. And right. they move it back over the sidewalk again. And uh, if any of you have snow blowers, you know what it going through the stuff at the end of your driveway, um, how difficult it can be. And then you take that and multiply it times many miles, and you have to get it done before the kids get up for school. It's just, yeah. I, no, think I know. I, yeah. I moved the stuff off my sidewalk. <laughs> Yeah, it's heavy. Do you know what the cost of this particular machine is going to be about? It. Uh, would you like me to answer, it, John? Yeah, if you can, I could guess. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty accurate on, but you, know, you Tim's been working with Kevin. Yeah, I, I believe uh, we were looking at about a hundred and eight to hundred ten thousand, depending upon the configuration. I mean, they drive, drive this all the way out to the highway, too, right? Oh, yeah, past, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've seen it out there, yeah. So this purchase will actually, uh, with the additional 35000 will just barely make it with six grand to spare, so... We definitely need going to need the thirty five thousand. That's right. Yeah. Are there any other vehicles that are in in, uh, in the process of being replaced? He, um, Kevin did a study and he said everything's um, doing pretty good. You know, he's he's taking care of it. Um, some of the work he can do. You know, uh, you know, you see him, he'll pull a transmission and stuff like that. And, um, you know, so he keeps it, he keeps the stuff going really good. He's pretty meticulous about that. He's very meticulous, I should say. Yes, yeah. So, yeah. So. so, yeah, he didn't seem to think that there would be any um, need at all um, going forward. Okay, so I will move that we uh, um, recommend Article 8. Is there a second? I'll second. Any other discussion? All right, Lawrence votes aye. Dawson, yes. Scanlon, yes. Dembitsky, aye. Ted? Gargano, yes. All right. On to Article 9. See if the town will vote to raise an appropriate the sum of $90,000 to be added to the town, roads, bridges, and sidewalks capital reserve fund. This appropriation is not included in the operating, bu operating budget, and the article is recommended by the selectmen. That's a yearly thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's another one of those um, that we um, put it aside so that because, um, you know, sometimes some roads you can do very quickly and expensively, but other ones are going to be major rebuilds. So we have to keep that fund so that, uh, you know, we keep the roads in good shape and so they don't all start looking like Kayla Phil Road. What's the what's the. Yeah, I'm sorry. What's the balance of that account? Yeah, I was just going to say it's $144,389.83 as of 12:31. When's the last time we used it? Last year. Mm -hmm. Last year on um, Pine Street or right Cedar Street. Cedar Street, yeah. This also <laughs> includes. Side 
This what was that again? Side, this is also for the sidewalk on your side of the street, on, and Brian and Lawrence. Okay, they got to redo the sidewalk. Yep. Any other How discussion? Much did we put in last year. We put in ninety-four thousand last year. Okay. Any other discussion? Is the sidewalk along the river going to be done? Yeah, do we know what's on the agenda for for that besides uh, downtown? I believe it's the sidewalk. Uh, Jeannie, correct us, but I believe that's the sidewalk uh, over by Gale Insurance, that side in the sidewalk along the river. That it that is correct. Nice. Which which river? You mean by the uh, the mill? The fence. Where the new fence is? Yes, where okay. the fence was where the fence was damaged. Right. Right, right. Okay. Well, I'll move that we uh, recommend Article Nine. Second. Any other discussion? Lawrence votes aye. Gargano. Gargano, yes. Scanlon, yes. Dembitsky, yes. And Catherine, you voted yes, right? Yes. All right. On to Article 10. To see if the, the town will, uh, let's see, another, nine, oh, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $9,000 to be added to the revaluation capital reserve fund established in 2002. This appropriation is not included in the operating budget. This article is recommended by the selectmen. So what is that? Revaluation? Yeah, the um, it, it's an ongoing expense, um, and then you know every was it every three years we have to go complete. Uh, Pat's got her hand up. Thank you, Pat. Five years in 2024. I, yeah. I didn't have my hands up. I just was saying number five. Okay. <laughs> okay. Is it 9,000 we put in every year? No. What did um, we put in last year? Uh, Christine, we put in 9,000 last year, but um, what we do is we look at the balance of the fund, look at the, um, the contract value uh, that we have to pay in the fifth year for the revaluation services, and then apportion mm -hmm. that out. So, uh, the very first year, uh, we had a lesser amount in here, but then uh, these will be equal amounts, 9,000 until the last year, which will be a little less. Okay. And this is just designed to offset the cost of that revaluation? Because it's usually more expensive than than five times nine, right? Hang on. Yes. Yeah. So the uh, the so we we pay an annual amount to them for uh, their assessing services and data validation, and then uh, at the end of the five years, there's uh, all the uh, additional services for the revaluation work that they do in uh, revaluating doing the townwide valuation. And that's that's what this fund is primarily used for to pay that lump sum of the year. Are we under contract with this particular uh, assessing company? We are. It's a five-year contract. Okay. Does it go out for bid at all?
uh, in the the last go around, and maybe Jeannie, you want to answer this? Um, uh, we've actually used the same company since uh, 2007. We went to Vision for one year. Correct me if I'm wrong, Catherine. But then right after that, uh, we went to um, Avatar, and they've been our assessor, assessor ever since. I do believe we uh, at one point. Uh, I'm trying to think if we actually did a, an actual um, RFP for assessing services. I think we did, didn't we? I think not, we did. Not, not this last year, we did not. Not, the last, not this last, last year. 2014 or 15, we did a, we went out. Yeah. We did it. The, that's the last time, I think. And they, they all haven't been five year agreements. We've had several where we've we've renewed it uh, on an annual basis but you expose yourself to pricing risk at that point um, and uh, the the conventional wisdom is because of the unique nature of the um, the evaluation services that Tilton requires versus some other towns that are primarily residential um, that uh, that that the assessing services are uh, unique and require you know, a certain caliber of assessor. So that's, um, at least that was the rationale in the past. And of course that may always change. Okay. Any other discussion or questions? Well, I move we uh, recommend Article 10. Second. Second. <laughs> Gargano, yes. Lawrence, yes. Scanlon, yes. Dembitsky, yes. <laughs> Dawson, yes. You know, this would be easier if we went alphabetically. We're doing pretty good, you know. It's like uh, synchronized swimming here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. On to <laughs> Article Eleven. To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of five thousand dollars to the Lake Improvement Slash Maintenance Capital Reserve Fund previously established. This appropriation is not included in the operating budget. The article is recommended by the selectmen. Is that the milfoil thing? Mm-hmm. Yes, it's the uh, milfoil. How's that working? Well, actually, we we've now got the um, uh, we've got some oh, what's the name the Winnesquam watershed or, or um, but what they've done is there's been a committee of the people on the lake and friends of the lake that have been spending an awful lot of time and organization and they've. Um, set up a whole plan for um, Winnesquam for removing the milfoil there. They've determined uh, which areas are tilting, uh, you know, based on our boundary. They've done some surveys of how bad it is, and they've hired um, divers as well as some chemical treatment to remove the milfoil. They bill us according to how much of the area that um, they're doing and other towns are also chipping in Belmont and I, th I think Laconia might be or Sammerton and uh, so it reduces the cost because the whole setup is being done like that so they've expended the money they're doing a great job with it they're keeping it up they've got um, success and uh, we've also got some stuff going on down towards um, Silver Lake, too. Uh, as you know, the um, milfoil, it's, it's really a tricky thing because boat motors and that, if they cut it up, each little piece um, turns into another piece of milfoil. It chokes out the lakes, kills them, um, and deprives the fish of oxygen. So... It's been a really good fund. Um, it's been very well used and it's had some good successes. Did we What's do the same last? In there? 
Excuse me. Christine asked if there's a balance in the fund. The current balance is $5,542.10. Did we give to the fund last year? We cut back last year, I, I believe. Yes. But it seems to be uh, working. Oh yeah, it, and it's finally, it, you know, we've had a couple people that were interested before we had some small Things were done about five years ago, like Jay's Marina, and they did it all in through there. Um, but it was kind of like, you know, who's going to take charge and arrange for it and do all this? But until last year, and they actually formed a nonprofit organization, and uh, they're heading it up. Um, boy, sometimes I'd like to show you some of the maps and that of the areas that they've done and uh, the results. I'm sure how much, maybe at the town meeting they can bring that. How much did we expend last year? Uh, I'm going to ask Tim if he can help me. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking right now. Um, it was about uh, $5,000, just under $5,000. And we put uh, last year, we added uh where was it here i believe it was six thousand last year uh six thousand dollars is what we added last year and we expended uh, 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 okay any other discussion not i move that we uh recommend article 11 is there a second i'll second that or right. ted uh any other discussion i uh, uh lawrence votes i gargano yeah. Dembitsky, yes. Scanlon, yes. Yeah. Dawson, yes. All right. Thank you, guys. Uh, Article 12 doesn't have any money in it, does it? Do we need to uh, recommend that? Well, that's interesting. I was just looking at that uh, bill, and uh, our attorney did look at all this, and um, I am just sent him an email asking if the budget committee, it would seem like he wouldn't because it's not a money article. Um, he might have just missed that, so I guess to be safe, I'd, I would say vote on it, and if you don't need to, then we can remove it. Okay. Can we vote to recommend or not recommend next week? Yeah, we could do that also. Sure, yeah. that's fine. And I'll, I'll sure. let you know what he says. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Okay, so then the... Uh, I don't think there's anything else that we uh, need to recommend. Is that correct? Correct. So uh, other business would be uh, just getting ready for next week, correct? I guess Anybody, does everybody feel ready for a public hearing? I couldn't find using? anything on the Tilton website that mentions next week's public hearing on the budget. Is
It's on the calendar, but it's on the calendar as just a budget committee meeting. Right. Um, I guess that's another set on my part. I'll have it posted, the actual um, public notice. The public notice actually ran on, let me just see when it ran. It ran on Friday, I think it was. I have it, here, I have it right here, one second. Well, Tim could put something on the website. I mean, it, that's the first place people are going to look. Yeah, if you send that to me, Janice, I'll, I'll put that up along sure. with a copy of the budget and warrant. Yeah, now, do, we, do we usually have to advertise that in two places for the budget? You need to actually post the budget? Is that what you're asking, Bill? No, no, we, we just have to um, advertise that we're having a budget hearing. It, it, it would then go on the um, on the kiosk as well as the um, newspaper. Okay. Is that what you meant? Right. Yes. Yeah, I was just curious. Uh, in the past, other uh, um, committees I've been on, sometimes they recommend that you um, publish it in a couple of newspapers or something. But I, I don't know what the rules are these days. So, I, th I think the one newspaper is is um, I'd want to say the so I wasn't aware of anything else. Does anybody else have any information on that? If you put it in the kiosk, if you put it on the website, and you put it in the newspaper, you've now noticed it in three different places. I got a feeling you're covered. And Billy, I think you're right. It's supposed to be in two places, so that would certainly cover it. Okay. Thank you. All right. Any uh, any other business? We will entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll second. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do first. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, roll call vote. Lawrence, Wait, aye. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I didn't get who made the motion and who seconded. I'll do first. <laughs> <laughs> Ten seconded. Yeah, okay. Firstly, do you do a job? <laughs> okay, we're doing a roll call. Gargano, oh, yes. Lars, yes. Scanlon, yes. yes. Christine was yes. Thank you. Catherine? Oh, I'm a yes. Um, and could okay. we make sure we have a copy of the new budget and warrant articles well before the meeting? Okay, well, what was that request, Catherine? Copy of the, uh, the budget Current. and the new warrant articles as we voted on them well before the meeting, not the day of. So I don't think there are any changes to anything. Um, you should have them. We just recommended and not, or we just did the warrant articles and the amount was wrong under the budget one. So that's going to be new, different, changed, right? That had been sent as well. But uh, yeah, no, we will send a fresh copy of both. Thank you. Uh, and if if you would like, um, uh, Bill, did you already adjourn? Yes. We are. You're, this is we're adjourning now. Oh, in okay. a slow, well, mo slow gonna, motion adjourn adjournment. I was going to say, uh, if you would like, uh, I generally uh, prepare just a short uh, slideshow on the budget. You know how it breaks down, comparison, that sort of thing, and I can do that uh, for your public hearing if you like. That sounds uh, great. Okay. We. we We'd love that, yeah. All right. All right. Well, thanks, everybody. Any questions, get a hold of me or Janice. And everybody, have a good night. Have a good evening. Yes. Thank you. All right. Off to bed.